secret is not here. I'll ask around. I'm looking for two men. Not locals. A Norse and an Arab. The fellas the soldiers came after. If I were you, friend, I'd keep mum about them. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You're risking your life, and I'm the one who'll take it. Oh, my. All I know is they jumped through the window. Guards! Help! Help! Squeeze me! Guards! Oh, help! It's you! You threatened on me! Come on, lads! It's a fight! <laughs> Can't hold out much longer. Put you on a pike! <laughs> Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Smells like a fish house. Good spot to hide. Wait! Stop! Alan was Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman. Until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. 
All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount the surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Batham talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Batham's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Batham is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright. And he has... he has promised me... Reward <laughs> so much. So unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Iron heft of a war axe. Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hull, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex. And that poxy ass bastard, Alfred. We won't have it. Edwin, you're nothing now but a churlish widow. What power you had lies rotting in your husband's grave. 
You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. What have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? I can still fight these bastards. Damn you. Rise the shoulder with us. to fight. You should have freed me. Gidrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor. Not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Gidrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to Where talk with... Where is she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands, but he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leich Vila garrison. Batim! Eivor! To horse! Off again, Eivor. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, 